We are having a showdown today on Nosh Finder, and we are going to be having a mala numb and spicy hot pot flavor showdown. We have three contenders, three different unique flavors that we're trying out. And the first one we have is going to be the Golden Duck Sichuan Mala Hot Pot Fragrant Mix with crispy fish skin, fluffy bean curd skin, and crunchy mushrooms from Singapore. And the second one that we have is the Lay's China Numb and Spicy Mala Hot Pot Flavored Potato Chips. And the third one, super unique, is going to be the Star Chew Mala Salted Egg Brainless Shrimp Heads that I got from Singapore at 99 Ranch. For those of you joining us for the first time, I'm Yun. At Nosh Finder, we are here to bring you unique snacks from around the world, break down those flavor profiles, and stay till the end because I'm gonna give this snack a Nosh Finder rating to determine whether you should try it or not. So many unique textures, so many different types of packagings from different countries. So before we dig into the showdown, let's dig into some Nosh facts just to see exactly what mala hot pot is. Hot pot is a pretty simple dish in which you have a pot of heated broth placed in the center of a communal table over a burner and friends and family would gather around and toss in various meats, seafood, and vegetables to cook. You take them out one at a time and dip it in your own personally mixed sauce. It's usually eaten for cold, rainy winter months, but I'm one of those extreme folks who crave hot pot even when it's 100 degrees outside. There's many versions of hot pot soup based a la carte options and all you can eat options as well. As one of the most spicy types of hot pot, Chongqing or mala hot pot uses different ingredients when making the hot pot base. The history of mala hot pot started in the 1920s in Chongqing. There was a peddler working at the wharf at the time, and he cut up cheap boiled parts of meat, such as liver and stomach from beef into small pieces, placed a clay stove with an iron basin, and divided the stove into different divisions with different flavors. The labor workers who joined him each would choose their own food and own area divided in the stove, so they only eat and pay for what they put in that division. The strong flavor and thick layer of oil of the hot pot soup base helps preserve foods and removes the unpopular smells of these cheap foods. Fast forward to today, due to the high popularity and unique way of eating, hot pot has already become the major attraction of the tourism in Chongqing. Mala is a Chinese sauce made from all sorts of spices that just puts your senses to an overload. Dried chili peppers, chili powder, dubon paste, Sichuan peppercorns, clove, garlic, star anise, black cardamom, fennel, ginger, cinnamon, salt, and sugar all go in there. These ingredients are then simmered with some fat and oil for many hours, and they get packed in a jar and then placed in a hot pot as the soup base. I personally love hot pot, especially mala hot pot. There's a numbing spiciness that is just so addicting. And especially when I went to Taiwan with my husband, there were so many hot pot places that offered this soup base. And it gets just gets spicier and spicier. And there's like a very awesome buffet spread of meats, vegetables, and shellfish that you can have to cook inside this hot pot itself. So I wonder if any of these snacks actually taste like the flavor itself and who will also be the winner of this mala showdown. So let's get to it. So we have three different types of snacks to try today. And the first one we have is the Golden Duck Sichuan Mala Hot Pot Fragrant Mix from Singapore. And interestingly, this actually not just only includes fish skin, but it also includes fluffy bean curd skin and mushrooms as well in this picture. I like the packaging. It's a nice big bag and it has a lot of good visuals to show what you're actually snacking on. And in the back, they have a spiciness level and a numbing level, and the spiciness is a little over half and the numbing is a little under, which is actually not bad at all. And the ingredients are fish skin, mushroom chips, bean curd skin, spice flavors, some sesame seeds, some dried chilies, a lot of various spice powder, which includes like cinnamon powder and cumin powder and peppercorn powder and some dried celery. Oh, very natural ingredients it looks like, and also not a lot of chemicals. So not bad at all. I like that, I like that a lot. So let's open it up and see what we think. All right, so I see three different types of little snacks in here. So I'm gonna dig out each of them and we can look at them each. So when I look at the mushroom, it's a little tiny mushroom, um, not too large like a shiitake mushroom, but it's like a little small mushroom here. And it has a nice dehydrated texture and some spices all around it. I'm gonna look at the fish skin. It's a nice crispy fish skin. Um, it does, it's not super scaly, but it does have a lot of pockets that would trap a lot of the seasonings on there for sure. 
And when I look at the bean curd, similar to the fishkin, it actually has a lot of seasoning trapped in the pockets as well, since it's a little bit of the fried side. When I smell one of them, definitely smells like Sichuan hot pot. It almost smells like the hot pot oil that's actually in the soup base itself. All right, let's try it out and see what you think. We'll try the fishkin first. Oh wow, the first one's so spicy. <coughs> Whew. It is very spicy. I am sweating already. It hits the back of your throat from the Sichuan spice. And also there is this numbing peppercorn type of taste that also comes with this. So all of them are just like rolling together. There's definitely some white pepper elements as well because it kind of just kind of has a little bit of that spiciness to it that's like white pepper along with the Sichuan peppercorns and the chilies. Um, little hints of like star anise and cinnamon as well. But I just think that it's not savory enough. It's more just like hot chili oil with Sichuan hot pot taste to it. And so it would have been nicer if it was a little bit more on the savory side. Let's try out the mushroom and the bean curd as well and see what we think. All right, mushroom. Whew. So this mushroom definitely has a sweetness to it from the, I think from the actual mushroom itself. It's not overly dehydrated where it's like an astronaut ice cream level, but it definitely has a bit of like the crispiness from the dehydrated piece for, for sure. Okay, I need a drink of water. I'm gonna get hiccups. Mm -hmm. The mushroom is definitely has a numbing quality to it from the numbing spice as well. So it's an interesting texture. I like how cool it is that it has the fish skin crispiness and then this mushroom crispiness as well. All right, let's try out the bean curd as well. The bean curd is actually very similar to like the fish skin with the, like the crispiness of the texture. The pockets really trap a lot of the spices. So again, rolling numbing, rolling spiciness for sure. I really like this bag because it actually has so many different types of mixes of not just fish skin, but it has like mushroom and bean curd. So very innovative. It's just kind of missing a bit on the savory level, just really much like a uh, hot chili oil instead. Wow, what a spicy start to a showdown. Let's dig into our next snack. So the next one we have is the Lay's from China, numb and spicy hot pot flavor chips. And I love the packaging on this front. It actually has like a big hot pot with a lot of chili peppers in it. And I don't really recall my hot pots ever looking like this. So this must be super spicy. And in the back, nothing spectacular, just some ingredients list out, which includes potatoes and numb and spicy hot pot flavoring and a lot of chemicals in it for sure. So let's open it up and see what we think. Bag is a little greasy and there's a lot of smells coming out from this bag. You all may know I love ruffle cuts because they actually trap a lot of the seasonings within the ridges to add a lot more flavors for some of the chips. And this chip is definitely not short on the seasoning. There is a lot coated around here and a lot of little specks and little flecks of different types of spices. And when I smell it, oh yeah, also smells like hot pot. It has the star anise smell, some cinnamon, some garlic, lots and lots of spices all combined into this one chip. So let's try it out and see what we think. This chip is really good. It actually has a great texture in the chip. The chip actually is crispy, not actually as overly greasy. Um, I thought the bag was pretty greasy, but when you actually bite on the chip, it wasn't too greasy. And it has a little bit of that bite and thicker cut to it. A little bit of numbing and um, some spiciness, but not overly spicy. It's definitely very savory, which I like. It almost tastes like you're dipping the potato chip into a hot pot with some saltiness in it. I can definitely taste like the star anise, the peppercorns, and the cinnamon. A lot of great hot pot types of like spices in this chip itself. Fantastic. I think it's very delicious. So let's move on to our last one. So the last one we have um, is the Star Chew Mala Salted Egg Brainless Shrimp Heads. Now I know it sounds really crazy. I, how can shrimp heads be a part of a snack that you can just eat on the go? I think shrimp heads is actually a, quite a delicacy, especially in Asia. I think the shrimp heads actually includes these nice crispy shells that are edible as opposed to the full body of a shrimp. And then also there is a nice umami taste within the shrimp heads itself. So it actually really provides a really great type of texture along with a great seafood sweet flavor. 
packaging is really cute. It actually has the shrimp heads and also wrapped in salted egg yolk with curry leaves and dried chilies and cute little animated graphics. And in the back, there is a cute comic in addition to the ingredients, which includes shrimp head shells, salted eggs, some curry leaves, some sugar, mala seasonings, and so forth. So let's open it up and see what we think. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. This one's so unique. All right. All right, so there's all these little tiny, um, what looks like shrimp heads, but you can't even tell that they look like shrimp heads. And wow, it has a lot of coating and it looks amazing. It almost looks like those little sesame sticks from a uh, kind of like the bar mix, snack mix. That's what this looks like. You can't even tell that it's a shrimp head, but you can tell that there's it's fully coated with the salted egg yolk. There's a lot of bits and pieces of curry leaves and little pieces of like specks of like salt and some spices as well. So let's smell it. Ooh, I smell some of the shrimp for sure, some salted egg yolk, and a little hint of like the uh, kind of like star anise hot pot spice. So let's try it out and see what we think. This is hands down one of the most unique and flavorful snacks that we've had on Nosh Finder. It is so good and so creative. You can actually taste the shrimp head it's like a crispy fried shrimp head so the shells are a little brittle so you can just chew right through it definitely has the shrimp flavor that has a little bit of that seafood umami taste and then wrapped around it is the salted egg yolk the briny salty taste to it that goes so well with the shrimp head and then the little curry leaves and little spices and on top of that there is a complimentary mala hot pot seasoning on top that adds that spicy kick and the numbing kind of peppercorn flavors there are to the shrimp head. And instead of opposing against each other where it causes just like a hot mess of flavors, they actually go so well together that it's like a beautiful combination and one little tiny snack. I cannot believe this little snack has so much flavor in it and it is so delicious. I love the texture, I love the flavors. Major winner here for sure. And I might have slipped a little bit on who the winner is. But anyways, let's roll to who the winner is of this showdown. And the winner of this Mala Hot Pot Showdown is the Star Chew Mala Salted Egg Brainless Shrimp Heads from Singapore. Again, one of the most unique flavors and snacks that we've gotten on Nosh Finder. I love how innovative it is with the shrimp heads itself and the salted egg and the hot pot taste, phenomenal. It's like the perfect harmony between all the flavors, just the right amount of saltiness, just the right amount of spice, a little bit of sweetness, amazing. A Nosh Finder rating of not just five out of five, but I would give it the ultimate trophy for Nosh Finder's uniqueness and flavors of a six out of five. So delicious, so good. Definitely go find out like if you can get these at like a 99 ranch. These are so delicious. And then I would give these Lay's China Numb and Spicy Hot Pot Lay's Potato Chips a Nosh Finder rating of five out of five. And then the Golden Duck Sichuan Mala Hot Pot Fragrant Mix a Nosh Finder rating of four out of five. It was not savory enough. It was a little bit more like a hot chili oil, but I love the variety that it had in the snack itself with the fish skin and the bean curd and the mushrooms. But compared to the other two, it was lacking just a little bit in terms of those like savory notes. If you want to challenge your palate or stuff up your snack game, be sure to check out all my other videos too. And if you want to check me out on the daily, be sure to follow me on Instagram. See y'all next time.